It's a difficult concept, leadership. And so to try and make it as concrete as possible, at least to get started, let me, let me provide you with, a, with an expression or a metaphor that I think begins to capture the subtleties and the difficulties involved in the notion of leadership. It's the expression of it takes two to tango. And tango itself as an expression of what, or a metaphor, of what uh, leadership is about, at least when it's, it happens well. And so imagine you have a dancing space which is quite crowded, you have quite a few uh, couples which are dancing tango together. Um, and you as a couple are in the midst of that dancing space and you have to find your way through the space. You want to dance together. Uh, there are other couples there. So in a sense, it's like other couples which are present opportunities, also threats. You have to find your way. Some places will open up to dance, other ones will close down. Um, I think that that is a metaphor what it is to be a university that is in the middle of society, as it were, that has other universities with which it's competing, collaborating, there are social actors, there's a broader domain within which it has to excel as, as an organization. Now, what, what this means in terms of what it takes to to tango uh, became clear for me because I actually happen to love to, to dance tango. I'm not a good a dancer, I'm a lousy uh, uh, dancer, and this is not to, to be a sort of act of self-modesty in the, in the framework of this, of this uh, meeting. I, I'm not a good dancer. My partner is. And because she's a good dancer, she can compensate for a lot of my, my, my faults. And so uh, my tango teacher wasn't particularly happy with me, so what he invited me to do was to dance with someone else who, didn't, who hadn't danced with me, and so who wouldn't anticipate. Turned out to be a dancer who was much, much, much better than what I was. And um, she was actually several levels above me. And uh, so the tango music began. I walked up to her. I courteously asked her to dance. She stood up. And then so we got ready and I began to move and nothing happened. Niente, nothing. It was like she was a sack of potatoes. And I don't know whether she didn't like me. I don't know if whether she wasn't in the mood, but I had to actually push her into movement and then Dancing afterwards was a torture because it was like, like, like trying to, to, to swim in molasses. And when the dancing ended, I, you know, I was just, I was just thought, my gosh, if this is what tango is about, you know, I can't, I can't deal with this. And in a certain sense, I, I, this was a moment of reflection for me, and I thought, what went wrong here? And what, what were my preconceptions about what tango is about? In what way were those preconceptions wrong? I think that what this showed me is that in a certain sense, if you compare that image of my, you know, that failed tango to the, to the image of the tango couple that is, you know, effortlessly dancing through the space, you would think that that second example of the couple who, which is effortlessly dancing through the space and navigating its position within a complex field, that what you have is a guy there who is the leader and someone who follows, and that, that precisely is because there's someone who follows and someone who leads that is successful. But in a certain sense, I think that that's not really what was, what's at stake in, in, in leadership. I think that the difference between the two situations is that in a certain sense, unless who follows also leads and leads by anticipating and already being prepared to receive and to move in a certain direction, nothing will happen, which is what happened with this partner of mine who acted like a sack of potatoes. And so what happens is when you have a good tango couple which are dancing beautifully, is that there's someone who leads, but in the very process of leading, you're also following, and that who follows also leads. And so in a certain sense, yes, there's a leader and there are followers, but in a certain sense, at each level of the organization, who follows will also have to lead in the sense of anticipating and want to cooperate to take that organization a step further. Now, this is of course a, a metaphor, tango. And so let me try and generalize it a bit to make it a bit more um, concrete in terms of what it means for a large organization like Tilburg University. Let me do so by drawing a distinction which is common or prevalent in, common, in collective action theory, which is a domain of philosophy. I happen to be a philosopher. It's a distinction between we each and we together. What that means is this, the, the lady and I that just couldn't get our act together, that was we each. 
Two individuals there standing side by side, but not really doing anything together. And the example of that couple that dances beautifully, weaving in and out of the spaces of the opportunities and threats which are available on that dancing space, is we together. Now it seems to me that what leadership is about is trying to articulate in a dialogue with the participants of that we together, what it is that we're doing together. What is it that we are about as a university in an ever-changing context which brings threats and opportunities? Think of the tango example. You're th you are weaving your way through a more or less crowded space, opening up possibilities, closing down other possibilities. So in a dialogue with those who follow, but to the extent that it's a dialogue, there's also a leading which is taking place there. Try to articulate what we are about as an organization and what we are about as an excellent organization. And that also therefore means that you have to accept the fact that it, and there's a difference with tango, that it's not merely about being able to come together and enjoy tango, it's also the fact that in an organization there will be conflict. There will be conflicted and conflicting positions about what it is that we are as a collective and what we ought to be as a collective. But I think that what leadership is about is accepting that what we're trying to do is articulate what we are together and who we want to be together, but also accepting that we are we each, that is to say that there are different perspectives on what it is that joins us together, and wanting to have that moment of we each be part of the articulation of what we are together. It seems to me that this is at the core what we are trying to do in this connected leadership uh, project and initiative. And it seems to me that this is something that doesn't happen only at the level of, of the rector. It doesn't only happen at the level of the board of directors. This is something that happens all the way to the collect, through, through this organization, in different ways, certainly, but throughout the organization as a whole. 